example of a past SATS question that involves ratio. So this question comes from the 2022 paper. Let's have a look at the question. You can make green paint by mixing 250 milliliters of blue paint, 1,150 milliliters of yellow paint. Important to note here, green paint can be made from blue and yellow. And if you change the quantity of the blue or the yellow, you're going to get a different shade of green. OK, ratio is used in real life for this very thing, for paint. If you were to paint a room a new colour, you might want to go and get a tester pot. And um, before you chose your paint, it's really important that the manufacturers can make the tester pot exactly the same shade as the larger pots of paint. And that's where ratio is used. So in this particular example, we've got our specific quantities of blue and yellow to make that shade of green. Stefan wants to make some of this green paint. He uses 750 millilitres of blue paint. How much green paint does he make? Now, with ratio, there's different parts of the ratio. Well, I'm going to write it out and, and I'll explain what that means. And it's very important that we read the question carefully so that we use the right clues and that we take the right part of the ratio for our answer. So let's just have a quick look at the information. We've got 250 millilitres of blue paint. We've got 1,150 millilitres of yellow paint and that makes green paint. That makes a specific um, shade of green paint. We've then also got Stefan uses 750 millilitres of blue paint. Now, what I always do to start is I write down the original ratio. So the original ratio is you can make green paint by mixing. Now We've got blue we use colons to separate and we've got yellow. Now you could use colon and then green. I'm going to use an arrow, could be an equal sign, to show that I've got some parts blue, some parts yellow, and that makes my green paint. So I'm writing it like that. Now I'm going to write in the units, 250. You could write millilitres as well if you wanted to. Um, and 1,150. OK, now the question doesn't ask you to do this, but what I would also do is I would add up my two parts. 250 and 1150 makes 1400. And in this question, you don't actually need to do that, but I just do this as a habit. I can see that if I use 250 millilitres of blue and 1150 millilitres of yellow, I would have 1400 millilitres of green or 1.4 litres of green. Now let's go to, that's our clues, that's the information we've been given. If we go to the second part of the question, which is this. Stefan wants to make some of this green paint. He uses 750 millilitres of blue paint. Now, 750, I'm going to write that under a new line. It tells me that it's the blue paint. OK, so we need to make sure that we put it um, down this wrong colour. OK, we need to put it down this side. So get my pen, 750 needs to go into the blue column because Stefan wants to make some blue paint. Now with ratio, everything has to stay the same. OK, it has to stay in the same proportion. So what I would do now is I would use these two clues, OK, 250 to 750. And we're going to think about scale factors. We're going to think about how many times 250 goes into 750. So it's the same as 750 divided by 250, which you might want to use a bus stop method or just simply count on. Now I can count up in 250 because I know how to count up in 25s. So 250, I'm just going to write down what I would do in my head. 250, 500, 750. So I know that it fits in three times. So I'm just going to jot there that, that has fitted in three times. That is my scale factor. Jot that out. Now, once I know how many times I have had to multiply my first line by, I'm going to then do the same thing to everything else in 
the um, in the, the original ratio. So 1150 also needs to be times by three. So you might want to do something like that. And that gives you your amount. So one, uh, sorry, I've done that wrong. One times three. Let me start that one again. Okay, so zero times three is zero. Five times three is 15. One times three is three plus one is four. And one times three is three. Okay. So 3,450. See, very important now, I made a mistake, I was going too fast. When you pop it into your ratio, I could see that that didn't make sense, that 1,150 times three would be 1,000 something. So it's always good to just double check your answers make sense, even after you've done a calculation and you think you're really good at that calculation, just double check it makes sense. Now there's two ways you can do this. You could either take your 1,400 and you can multiply that by three because everything needs to be multiplied by three. Or you can add the 750 and the 3,450. Both should get you to the same answer. So if we did 1,400 times by three, zero times three is zero, zero times three is zero, four times three is 12. And one times three is three plus one is four. So the answer should be 4,200. And if we double check by adding, let's just get rid of this original working out. It should be the same answer. If it's not, that's when you would just double check where you might have gone wrong. So I'm gonna put the larger number on top, 3450 plus 750 and add. Zero and zero is zero, five and five is 10, four and seven and one is 12, three and one is four. So it's the same answer, 4,200. Um, so beg your pardon, you did actually need to have um, the green paint. So when we looked at the ratio in the beginning, we added up the two parts to see how much paint that made. Um, how much green paint does he make? That's what the question is asking us for. We want this part of our ratio. OK, although we also calculated how much yellow was needed, the question is asking for how much green paint he wants. So that's the bit we need to look for. So the final answer, although you've done all that calculating, you need to make sure you get the right part is 4,200 millilitres. Uh, make sure you pop it in the answer box, but also make sure that you check the unit. If in that box it had said litres instead of millilitres, it would be 4,200 two litres. If it didn't have millilitres in that box, if it was just empty, you would have to write 4.2 litres or you'd have to specifically write 4,200 millilitres. So always be clear when you're doing anything with measurements that you check for the unit of measurement as well.